Welcome to another episode of TTG Sports. Appreciate y'all joining me today again. Please like, share, subscribe to the page below as we get into what's going on today. We're gonna uh, we're gonna recap the Lewisburg and Oxford Lady Chargers uh, game tonight. Um, it started out as a very sloppy game. Uh, but it ended up being uh, a very competitive game. You know what I'm saying? Down the stretch and things like that. <clears throat> a lot of a lot of turnovers and things. But I'm not going to just uh, emphasize on that right now. I'm not going to keep y'all alone. Uh, got a few things that I got to do. But I do want to give an update on what went on tonight and, and just point out and highlight uh, the players from both teams that – that I that stood out to me, you know what I'm saying, and and uh, had a good showing, and and you know maybe some people may know him, maybe some people may not, but uh, personally, uh, like I say, low scoring game, low scoring game, but uh, a couple of things stood out. Uh, a, I'm going to start with Lewis. Some of the players, I'm going to just be scrambling. I'm going to go from player to player, uh, team to team, you know. But uh, Allison Irby tonight, she had 15 rebounds. She had 15 rebounds. And, uh, and what more can I say? But I think a lot of the thing, reason why she had 15 rebounds is because Man, wasn't nobody truly making those shots early. In, you know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't a good shooting percentage game for neither team. Can no team say that they shot the ball well tonight? Um, the game was just won through <clears throat> through a kid called Allie Correll. She's a junior, 2024, about six feet, six one. It's what it looked like to me because she just looked like she was just. She was everywhere. The kid did so much tonight on the court. Uh, one of her teammates had got a charging call. The referee called it on her. She was she by her being everywhere. He thought it was her. But Allie Carell tonight had twenty three points, uh, eleven rebounds, four steals, a block. And what stood out to me was her having the ball so much in her hand. She only had one turnover. A uh, very athletic young lady. Um, she didn't have such a good showing early when I saw her uh, play against South Panola, but uh, tonight she came to play some ball against a, 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 a Oxford team that looked totally different than it looked uh, when I seen them play early in the year. And that's no 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 insult to them. It just seemed like they was a little flat tonight. But, you know, they played in spots, which both teams, like I say, both teams seem to play because <clears> – <throat> Allie was the only one in double figures for her team. Uh, Oxford had had two people in double figures. But it wasn't a lot of scoring going on. It was a very low-scoring game. I think it was like 49 to, to 41. But um, Allie is someone that needs to be on college coaches' radar. Um, she has, to me, like showed me that, like, Another reason of why we shouldn't rank these kids because I don't even remember seeing her name on that so-called ranking list on what's going on. And and Allie, <clears throat> I know for a fact, especially how she played tonight in a little bit, like I say, she didn't have a good game, but you saw what she can do as a ball player uh, when she played against Sal Panola earlier this year. Uh, Allie, Allie deserves her credit. And – just because she may not play for y'all programs and, and y'all still doing these rankings and things like that, y'all need to get these kids. They will deserve credit and things like that. But tonight, like I say, it wasn't too much to just talk about or too much to just just brag about. Um, I think Fryer, Fryer had, what's that, six? 10. She had 10 points, 9 rebounds, 4 steals, 2 blocks. Uh, kid just played with a lot of heart and a lot of grit tonight. 
Uh, I like what I seen out of her. I think she got hurt. Uh, somebody clocked in the nose, I think. But I hope she's doing well. But like I say, very, very uh, slow-paced game tonight. Not just too much to just be excited about of of everything. But Adley Corral deserves to be in that number if we was at church. Uh, I just like what I've seen from this kid. Uh, <clears throat> this kid has a motor. Uh, rumor is that she's a soccer player. I don't know, so I just uh, I think she is a soccer player from the sources that I do know. They're reliable sources, but uh, this kid is, is just as good as anyone else in her class that that that's in front of her. You know, uh, I would take this kid over anybody from Tishomingo County. I would take Ali Carell over anybody from Tishomingo County. Um, you can't tell me that it's – if she's – obviously you got, what, 60? You can't tell me that the 60 players are better than Ali. So, like, by me doing this and going around and and watching these kids and, and furthermore exposing y'all because when I see a kid that y'all don't mention, that just lets me know y'all not paying this kid no attention because of the fact that – they're not paying for in your program or they're not paying to come to your events. And and that's not fair to these kids. But if anybody shall, shall, shall see uh, Allie Corral, just let her know that TGG Sports is, is has, has, she has put me on notice to just furthermore follow this kid and keep colleges updated on what's going on. You're not gonna find a kid this size with the motor that she got, the kid can shoot the three. She can put it on the floor. Uh, she's not as good with her back to the basket, but she will put you. She will try to put you in that post and put the back to the basket and everything. The kid just does everything. If I had to say uh, something that Adley needs to work on, uh, just shooting off the dribble, that one-two punch, uh, putting it on the floor more, just polishing up your handles with just a lot of. A lot of big prop, big big issues with our kids uh, in the state, but <clears throat> it, it's not problems that can't be fixed. So, uh, with that being said, like I said, I wasn't going to keep you long because it wasn't just too much to talk about, you know. Uh, then too many things just stand out, and uh, I don't want people to get the wrong idea. But I will like for y'all to just uh, just be patient and understand that. This is the purpose of why I'm doing this. Uh, I'm not doing it for any clout or any credit or any anything. I don't get anything from this. I'm not doing this. I'm doing this because I want kids to be treated fairly. I want kids to uh, realize that doing this or if you're going to play this game, you deserve a fair opportunity and not to be judged on if you pay for this or if you play for this program or things like that. Ali Correa, anybody know the kid, tell the kid I was very impressed with what she did tonight. Keep up the good work. Uh, Lewisburg, uh, I know y'all coaches up there. I know he he's very happy with how that kid played and how y'all won tonight because that was a good team. Oxford is a good team in my, in my opinion. In my opinion. What happened to them tonight, I don't know. But Oxford is a, a, is a solid team to me. And, you know, and it, it could have been just one of those nights. And, and you know, we'll never know. But uh, to the credit, Allie Correll deserves her credit. And um, I think it's tomorrow. I don't know if y'all will see this tonight. But tomorrow I want y'all to join me. I'll be doing my first interview um, with some guys from my hometown that started their podcast called Sticks and Stones. Um, <clears throat> so anybody that that don't understand why I'm doing this or where did all of this come from or why why I sit up here and go to games or why I'm so passionate about uh, basketball and things like that, this would be a good show for you to tune in tomorrow to just get an understanding of who I am because I'm always doing the talking or I'm always defending myself for something that I said but you will honestly get a chance to know who I am as a person <clears throat> tomorrow and what basketball means to me and, <clears throat> and why basketball has been an impact in my life. So 
uh, join me tomorrow. It'll be on my page. It's around uh, 7 o'clock tomorrow and uh, things like that. But like I said, once again, Ali Correa, <clears throat> she's definitely trained to go. But if you ain't trained to go, you can't be on this show. And peace. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Like I said, don't forget to join me tomorrow on Sticks and Stones. Don't forget to join me tomorrow on Sticks and Stones. The live will be posted on my page also, but you can go uh, on Facebook and, and follow Sticks and Stones, S-T-X, uh, Stones, I guess. I, I don't have it in front. Let me see. Let me look it up. I don't want to do them, do them like that. Since they give me an opportunity to do something, let me go find them. Yeah. Y'all want to know how I look? Y'all want to know how I look? That's how they page look right there. So go follow them. And as you can see, as you can see, boy, they went and found a good picture of me too. As you can see, it's telling you that I'll be on there tomorrow, but they went and found a good old picture of me. Good old picture of me. I still look like that though. You know what I'm saying? But uh, in the title of the, of the episode, it's called AAU. But they didn't gave their own definition of it, and I like what they say about it. It's all about understanding. So tomorrow I'll be about an understanding of how, uh, how and why I do all of this. Like I say, I appreciate those guys giving me the opportunity, and I'll see y'all later.